how it sounds. Testing. Do you see? Oh, you see the microphone. Is that weird to see the microphone? Hi, I'm Emily Keller, and this is my friend Shireen. Hello, she hi everyone. She lives and works in fashion here in Shanghai, China. Shireen, first tell us where you're from in, in China. I'm from Henan province. Where is that? How far is that from here? Uh, it's like uh, 1,000 miles. Okay, that's far. Yeah, it's quite far. It's in the middle of China, okay. the province. And that's where you grew up, right? Yes, and uh, you know Kung Fu Shaolin Si? Oh yeah, the temple. Shaolin uh -huh. Temple. Yeah, yeah. Shaolin Temple. Uh, that area, my province, is uh, famous by that. When did you come to Shanghai? I come to Shanghai, I think, in 2008. Okay. I come here for college, for study. Okay. And which college did you go to? Uh, Shanghai Institute of Visual Art for uh, fashion design and communication. And it's not like uh, only design, it also has some, they have some lessons for you how to know how to communicate with people and uh, for your brand or for your customer. It's, so it's including many other kind of lessons like uh, merchandise, like uh, display merchandise and also some like a professional marketing knowledge, something like that. Okay. So like fashion business a little bit. Yeah, it's like marketing. Yeah, it's about like a design and the business. It's not only design and not only business. Okay. It's just like a in between. It's combined a lot. I wish I had that because I only did design, but then I have no. When I graduated from college, I had no experience with business at all. Uh -huh. So it made it very difficult to like start my own business. Yeah. So I think um, it's really valuable if you have both. Yeah, I think it's quite good. So you can know how is marketing work. You mm -hmm. can know how the industry work, how to start it, and how to promote it to the normal client. And then you also have a choice when you graduate, you don't have to do design. Yes. You could go into uh -huh. marketing or something else, or merchandising. Yeah, yeah. Many of my friends, they went to do like a fashion event. Oh, okay. Yeah, like they, uh, managing events? Yeah, manager or event, organizing. Organize, yeah. Okay. And also some of my friends, they went to like a brand to be a fashion designer. Okay. And also they go to be like a buyer. Some so all different. Some, yeah, all different. That's nice because at, at FIT and you know in New York where yeah. I went to school, it's like you have to choose before you get to school. You choose if you want to do fashion merchandising, uh -huh. fashion design, or even like menswear design was different. Yeah, major, it's, and it's all very separate. But very focused. Very, very focused. Yeah, very focused, which is good if you know yeah, yeah. what you want. What do you like? What's your job experience as a fashion designer? I work in a trading company. Is for um, focus on knitwear. So I w know a lot of knitwear knowledge and I do many knitwear for other brands. What do you do? You do like swatch development, right? A lot of what I did. Yeah. So it's similar to what I do, right? <laughs> swatch development. Uh huh. And you work uh, with like the knitting machines. Yes. Knitting wear is different from the normal, no, uh, normal woven garments. Yeah. It's actually, it's all garments, but actually it's quite different. Knitting, you start from the yarn, and yeah. then you do stitches, and then you use the stitches on the body, and you d design the shape. Yeah, and so you, have to do, you basically have to design the fabric first, yeah, right? Yes. But the stitch, the stitch is the fabric, and then it... The look, the texture. Yeah, yes. But woven is totally different. You just you, buy the fabric. Yeah, you buy the fabric, you choose the fabric, and you design it. Maybe you use two or three different kind of fabric. Yeah. But for knitwear, you use a lot of different kind of yarn, and you can make many different textures. Yeah. Maybe on one body is crazy, but if you use it well, <laughs> it also will be nice. Could be, could be cool. Yeah, sometimes could be. it's cool. Mm -hmm. And also, woven look is like a woven garments is like a you cut and sew. Yes, that's true. You don't need to think about the how the machine works. Shape the fabric. Uh -huh. Yeah, you have to actually shape the fabric. Yeah. yeah. 
you have to know that before you make the fabric. Uh -huh. Yeah, yeah, that's true. You think a lot of technical things. Yeah, right. Yeah, on knitwear, you, you have, have to. to. Mm -hmm. <laughs> as, a, as a knitwear designer, yeah. you, you have to. Yeah. You have to. The more technical stuff you know, the better you can understand yes. how to make a sweater and how to design design mm -hmm. a sweater. Right? Yeah, that will make you design easily and also make factory, make the people who work for you easy. Easier, um, yeah. Because I know I've I've known knitwear designers that didn't know a lot of the technical side yeah. but they would design a sweater uh -huh. but then it would be a lot of um, like frustration with the factory or with uh -huh. the technician because yeah. they'd say no we can't do this and the designer wouldn't know why they couldn't do it. Yeah because the machine has limited they yeah. cannot do whatever you want. Right. You, it has to be you have to follow some like a, not steps but it's they have some technical the limitations things. of yeah. the machine. Yeah, yeah you, you have, have it's to better to know because mm -hmm. yeah. then you can design within that. Yeah. And then the, you're not annoying the technician. Right? Yeah, it's a good way to know the knowledge and it's a better for you, for yourself, to design the things. Yeah, definitely. How do you like being a knitwear designer? I really love knitwear. Really? Yeah, since I work in this industry, I know how knitwear works. I really love it. Okay. Uh, for if you are just designer, you do the woven styles. You yeah. can you cannot design the texture. That's you true. only can choose or sometimes color you, and yeah. the fiber or the sometimes maybe you don't really like the fabric. You want to change some a little bit, but for woven. It's difficult. Yeah, that's for true. knitwear is much easier. It's much more customizable. Yeah, like you can change. You can change little pieces. Yeah, I can change the little, little small details and little. make it very different. Yes, definitely. <laughs> yeah. Let's see what else. Mm -hmm. That was good. That was pretty long. Yeah. <laughs> Take a break. <laughs> <laughs>